Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If your Windows 11 or 10 system feels bloated, slow, or filled with unnecessary apps you never use, it's time to clean up the smart way. In this video, I'll walk you through how to de-bloat Windows using PowerShell without breaking your system. Let's get into it. What is de-bloating? De-bloating means removing unwanted pre-installed apps, telemetry services, and background processes that eat up your system resources. But doing it manually or without the right precautions can break things. That's why we're using a trusted PowerShell script. Always back up first, then open PowerShell with admin rights. We'll use a script from a trusted developer, Chris Titus Tech, or Sicknex's Windows 10 debloater. This will launch a GUI where you can choose what to remove. Don't just blindly click everything. Remove Xbox apps, OneDrive, telemetry, and ad services, unless you actively use them. Here are my recommended removals for most users. Make sure to note them down in case you miss it. You can always rewind the video. Xbox related apps. OneNote and other UWP bloat. Telemetry services. Suggested apps and start menu ads. These are the apps you should not remove. Microsoft Store, it breaks updates. Windows Defender, unless you are using third-party antivirus like Avast and Nod32. .NET Framework or Runtime Components. Once you're done, hit apply changes and reboot your PC. You should now have a cleaner, leaner Windows experience. And yes, you can always rerun the tool if needed. So that's how you properly de-bloat Windows using PowerShell. No shady tools, no registry damage and full control. If you found this helpful, hit like and consider subscribing to my channel for more advanced tips like you can always request the type of content you would need by contacting me via my email which will be pinned in the comments. See you in the next video.